Hi, my name is Udraman and through the Oral Health Channel, today we are going to be talking about the root fractures at a glance. Let's start. So uh, I am making this episode because we have recently had some, uh, you know, patients who have had horizontal as well as vertical root fractures in their teeth and they've unfortunately lost their teeth and I thought that this is my social responsibility to make a video about root fractures and try to increase the awareness about root fractures amongst patients. So uh, basically root fractures, if I really have to talk about the tooth anatomy, the tooth is divided into a crown and a root. The root part is basically the part of the tooth which is under the gums and the bone and the one that is jutting out of the oral mucosa or the skin that is known as the crown. Now, these root fractures can be basically classified into horizontal or vertical fractures and their treatment varies depending upon the kind of fracture that has happened. Most likely the fractures are horizontal which can be further divided into three categories. So if we divide the tooth root into three thirds, that is the apical, that, the, that means the topmost or basically the lowermost part of the root, the middle part that is the middle third and the cervical third of the root that means the closest third of the root which is closest to the tooth. Now the most common horizontal fracture incidence of the root fractures happens around the middle third and followed by cervical and your uh, apical third. And now what happens is the prognostic value also depends upon a lot of variables but the best prognosis is horizontal root fractures which are happening in the middle third. Now coming to what needs to be done, the causes of root fractures are usually trauma and this happens mostly in young adults because of the fact that they are more susceptible to fall injury, they are more susceptible to interpersonal violences, road traffic accidents and sports related injuries as well as any sort of altercations or just the fact that they are a fall risk. Now that happens and it also depends upon the extent of the root uh, fracture where it has happened. The vertical root fractures could be classified into partial and uh, you know complete fractures and further classifications are also there which are not the purview of this episode which is directed towards the general knowledge of patients regarding oral health. Now when it comes to the root fractures especially horizontal root fractures you have to understand that there are a lot of ways that these root fractures can manifest themselves later on in terms of healing and on top of that what needs to be done if you know that you have come across a fall injury or any sort of injury this usually happens in the anterior teeth where you get these kind of fractures because of the fall risk where you can fall frontally first and this can also happen in posterior teeth the teeth at the back due to some you know eccentric contacts or uh, traumatic occlusions that means you're not biting your teeth properly or you have some parafunctional habits that you have a have a tendency to gnash your teeth that way so that way it can cause some problems now the more cervical the complete fracture of the fracture line it is that means the more towards the tooth it is the more likely it is possible that you would have the mobility of the segment secondly you need to understand that the prognosis of cervical root fractures that is cervical horizontal root fractures is the best because you don't have mobility and there is a lot of stem cells that means the pulpal cells around the area which can help in regeneration and healing of the tissue now what needs to be done if anyone comes across this kind of injury be it vertical or a transverse or oblique or horizontal root fracture it has to be first of all immobilized you have to immobilize the segment with the help of a partial splint and this has to be kept in at least for four weeks that is absolutely necessary and you have to go for a wait and watch approach where you have to take x-rays uh, different types of radiographic angulations cbcts if required and pulp testing and pulp vitality testings that need to be done obviously you need to refer yourself to a root canal specialist that way they we can evaluate with all the tests that are available to us to see what is the prognosis of the tooth mind you even if we say that the horizontal root fracture is best prognostically around the middle third it also depends upon its distance from the alveolar crest for example if you have periodontitis and you already have bone loss that means your horizontal root fracture which was supposed to be mid third in terms of a normal dentition and tooth actually becomes a cervical third because you've had bone loss the prognosis goes down also the prognosis is also affected when the interaction with the oral microenvironment that means the oral environment is very close to the gingival circle, sulcus that means when you have the fracture line which is close to the gingival crevice that means the area between the gums 
and where the tooth meet that small ditch that is known as the gingival crevice or sulcus that has a lot of plaque and oral microbiorganisms that can cause inflammation and infection and thereby uh, make the prognosis poorer. Now what needs to be done after this after you do all the tests and whatever possible you might have to indicate or initiate root canal treatments to make sure that the tooth is rendered disease free uh, inflammation free and infection free. It also depends what is going to happen after the tooth has undergone root fracture depending upon it could be pulpal necrosis ankylosis pulpal necrosis is that your pulp has completely you know it's become uh, infected you could have pulpal obliteration that means the pulp chamber is completely closed off with the help of heart tissue and it's completely walled off cordoned off and it's vanished you could have ankylosis that means the periodontal ligament the fibers that hold the tooth together in the bony socket they completely dry off and they die off and thereby it is a bony union with the bone and the tooth in position and it's very difficult to do anything even extractions are difficult in that case anyway for these purposes you need to visit a root canal uh, you know specialist for that coming to vertical root fractures you need to understand that they could be incomplete or you know uh, complete and their prognosis is much poorer than horizontal root fractures it also depends upon how close they are to the alveolar bone crest that means the part where your bone starts how close they are to the gingival crevice that means how close they are to the open environment where micro uh, microorganisms do exist and to sum it up it's very simple you have to take a call of the radio uh, you know the root canal specialist and they will do a wait and watch they'll probably start your splint therapy they'll probably give you root canal treatment they'll probably give you temporary crowns and wait and watch they can give you permanent crowns even posts for that matter they might inject you with calcium hydroxide therapy or mta depending upon the case now that is the prerogative and purview of the root canal specialist so as a patient what you need to do is not worry about it the moment you know that you've had a fall and there you feel that there is pain in your tooth you need to rush towards the dental office especially a root canal specialist uh, and then get the yourself evaluated with the help of radiographs or even cbct so that they can take a call the more you let it slide the more you wait and the more you say i'm not ha i'm not in pain it's all right let me not do anything it can lead to eventual discoloration of the tooth or even such painful conditions that you might have to go for tooth extraction so this was today's episode please like share subscribe and do press the bell icon button for important updates if you want to get in touch with me here are my social media handles kindly drop me a message with your name your location and the common oral health problem that's causing you discomfort we'll have a talk maybe i can reply to you after a couple of days and if you have any queries doubts apprehensions or insights please feel free to put them in the youtube comment section so that's it for today thank you <music>